Hello my crafty friends. Welcome to Scrap and Stamp Canada's August Inspiration Hop with the theme of sunflowers. Be sure to check out the Scrap and Stamp blog. I will have that linked in the description box below and leave a comment uh, to be entered into a chance to win a prize from Scrap and Stamp. Now this Inspiration Hop features products from Crafters Companion, their sunflower line, and I chose this beautiful six by six inch pattern paper package and the stamp set. Oh my goodness, this paper is so pretty. I was so inspired when I opened the pattern paper that I made three cards. So before I show you the cards though, I'm going to do a quick flip through of the pattern papers. So I've just got some leftover bits and pieces here from other cards that I've been working on. I'm just absolutely in love with this paper pad. One of the first things I do when I get a new paper pad, whether it's six by six or 12 by 12, which is normally what I get as a 12 by 12 pad, I flip through it to admire each of the prints and that starts the inspiration kind of percolating in my brain. And then I separate each one from the gummed topper. I like to have the, the sheets loose, especially with a 12 by 12. I'm not trying to open up a 12 by 12 pad and tear it out. I just do it all at one time. And that also gives me the opportunity because quite often there's one or two prints in a in a package that I'm not crazy about, I know I won't use. So at that point I, I take those away. There's no point in them taking up the real estate in the package if I'm not keen on them. And then if the grandkids can use them, I put them aside for the grandkids. Otherwise I use those um, to attach my magnetic sheets to for die storage. Normally I would use cardstock, but using an old pattern paper that I know I'm not going to use for card making saves that cardstock, especially now with there being such a shortage of it. But honestly, on this pattern paper, there was not a single sheet that I didn't absolutely love. So inspired by this. And like I said, I've made these three and I like the backside, the soft prints on the back sides of the papers as well. I have been making cards with this and I will be sharing those in the coming month. In fact, I just finished a shaker card for Thanksgiving that I'll be sharing in September. Remember that Canadian Thanksgiving is in October, not November like it is in the US. So sharing Thanksgiving cards in September is good to give people a jump start on ideas. So that's the pattern paper and then the stamp set. The stamp set is one I'm going to get a lot of use out of. There are really great sentiments in the set and I am a sucker for sentiment stamps. They stamp beautifully and they're a nice size and I used them on all of my cards here today. So let's have a look at the three cards I made using the sunflower papers and stamps from Crafters Companion at Scrap and Stamp Canada. First up is the shutter card. I couldn't resist making a shutter card with this beautiful paper. The textured cardstock I used on all of the cards is an A4 size and it's also available at Scrap and Stamp Canada, as well as the shutter card and the shutter card add-on. Now, these are products that have been available at Scrap and Stamp. If they are not available when you go to look, I will have those links in the description box below. There is a click to be notified button. So when they bring it in, they will notify you and you can add it to your card at that point. So here it is, just a note, I've got the decorative panels. They come with the shutter card, uh, which is a die set by Lawn Fawn. I don't know if I said that already. So you slide off the belly band and on my belly band I have a foiled butterfly, which is actually the negative, the reverse foiling. The just a note comes with the stamp set. And when you open the side panels, the shutter's open to reveal a gold foil sentiment for you. And that uh, die actually comes with the shutter card add-on. You do not need the add-on set to make a shutter card. Lawn Fawn's got a great video on it. It comes with the spacer so that everything will line up. I just find it very time saving to have the add on. I don't have to measure. I don't have to fuss. I know everything's going to line up and I really like the stitched line that you get um, when you use the add on rather than cutting the shutter card base twice and trimming it down as the Lawn Fawn video directs. So I do like having that add on as a time saver and that for you is so pretty. In behind is the reverse side of one of the pattern papers and there's a couple more of the butterflies. Those butterflies are all from Pink Fresh Studios. That's their small butterflies and these ones are actually foiled with rainbow foil on vellum. The belly band is also a die that is included in the shutter card so you can make the whole shutter card just from that one die set and then that circle that I've used to decorate the front is the fall away circle from here. Whether you use the fall away circle from the add-on or from the shutter card itself, you can use that to decorate your belly band. 
Now there isn't a lot of room on this card to write a message, so I actually did uh, stamping, added another panel of patterned paper, and then the stamp in this room to sign a name. So just a sweet little card that will fit in an A2 envelope for mailing. Now hitting that like button is a huge help for YouTubers. The more likes we receive, the more people get to view the video, which allows us to grow our channel. So by the end of the video, if you like it, please take the time to hit that like button and I'd love you to subscribe to see more of my cards. So next up is the Slimline card and this is the first thing I thought of when I saw these papers. Let me just grab some of the papers again here. Here's the same idea, a different colorway, but the border top and bottom. And so what I did, normally I like a mini slimline that is six inches by three and a half inches. Uh, for this one though, I wanted to make full use of the pattern paper and just cut it in half at three inches. So this mini slimline is six and a quarter by three and a quarter, which is another standard size for mini slimline cards. And they still fit in those six and three quarter or number eight envelopes that are available uh, readily in the US and Canada at office supply stores or I picked these up at our pharmacy. So you can see that this size perfectly inside those same envelopes, but it means you can cut that six inch pattern paper in half and that's it, that's the front of the card. Now I did add a little bit of Wink of Stella for some shimmer and shine. The Sun Kissed Wishes is from the stamp set and I used one of my T rulers to line it up on the stamping block and stamp so it was straight. I used some Gold Fever Confetti from Studio Katya and I think that's also available at Scrap and Stamp Canada and Catherine Pooler Ink. I also went around the outside edge with a gold gel pen and this beautiful uh, textured cardstock is what I was talking about that's also available in the A4 size. Inside there's one of the sentiment stamps, there's that half sunflower there and some more of the patterned paper. I just had so much fun with that paper, it's just stunning. So that is the mini slimline card and then my third card, again another one of those prints just inspired me. It was just screaming at me to be cut into a square, so I did. I used the peach textured cardstock from Scrap and Stamp Canada and the Pink Fresh Studios Essential Blanket Stitched Square. So that's the die that I used for this outer panel here and then just another square die uh, to have it cut. I just like the edges on a die cut and I have a lot of the basic shapes. If you don't have square dies, you can just easily cut them. This is a four and a quarter inch square card and it fits inside an A2 envelope for mailing. And then I, you can just cut your layers smaller. Now I did pop them up with foam tape, but it's thin foam tape. So you get the kind of the dimension without a whole lot of extra height and weight. I stamped the sentiment with the Catherine Pooler ink on vellum and tore the edge. And when I turned the vellum over, I just added tiny dots of glue in behind the letters and adhered it down so you don't see the adhesive which was fine but the color dried back quite a bit and it was too pale so I traced over all of the letters with a fine point brown marker. Some more um, confetti, this is rose gold and I'll look at the inside as well. Now they're just a note and two more of the sunflowers and then just a scrap of that pretty paper I couldn't resist with some more of the uh, Wink of Stella for some shimmer and shine. So there's my three cards for Scrap and Stamps, Sunflower, August Inspiration Hop. Make sure you hop along from the Scrap and Stamp Canada blog and see what everyone else has come up with. There's quite a few items in this collection from Crafters Companion and I know that people are going to be just making amazing projects. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And that's it for me today.